What's up gamers, GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the Fortnite Mares quest, eliminate opponents with a wood stake shotgun or pumpkin launcher. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. I greatly appreciate your support. So this challenge, you must eliminate opponents. So this includes players as well as low card guards and bosses slash dealers. Um, and it must be with a wood stake shotgun or pumpkin launcher. So first off, the weapons. Both of these are new. Both of them can be found on the ground, within the chests, within chests, I should say, within hollow chests, and you can purchase them from NPCs. So from Joni the Scarlet, you can purchase the wood stake shotgun. You will find her at Kenjutsu Crossing. If she's not there, I assure you, I haven't given you inaccurate information. She's just potentially been killed or an NPC that could be hired may be missing, and that's just because somebody's hired them. You can also buy the pumpkin launcher from Victoria Saint, but do note it is 600 gold, which is pretty pricey. You can find her up here in Woodsy Ward, which is east of Breakwater Bay. But to be honest, both of these items can be picked out of chests and on the ground fairly easily. Um, note opponents. You can find these guards and dealers at those three strongholds there, as well as Rumble Ruins and Slappy Shores. I highly recommend going after low card guards before players, just because I think the low card guard is less skilled than your average player and definitely less skilled than other players. And don't forget about those forecast towers. Once they appear in the game at those locations I've just highlighted here, a boss or a dealer with two low card guards will appear there and you can just go to those forecast towers as they appear and eliminate them. Whichever works best for you, you've got lots of options anytime the challenge involves opponents rather than players. So I'm landing at Slappy Shores here. I'm gonna open this chest and voila, the pumpkin launcher right out of there. That's totally sweet. And because it's early in the game, there's a really good chance that there's weaker players or at least lots of players landing here. See that job board down there? Also consider going over to that job board and choosing eliminate enemy player. This will highlight a specific player on the map with a big yellow circle and you can go after them. Another thought, use the high ground to your advantage. By being up here, I can find players who are walking down on the ground and I have a better chance of hitting them and they have less of a chance hitting me when they shoot upwards. In this case, I can hear players fighting, so I'm looking for them. I'm gonna turn the corner, I see the players here. I'm gonna unload one shot here, take out the first player, wait a moment for the other player to come and unload another shot and boom, that is two of five eliminations. At this point, I would rather not even look for players. I am literally at this point trying to get low card guards. I can see somebody building in the far distance back there, so I'm sure that person is right now going after the boss. But in the northern part of Slappy Shores is where all the houses are, and in the southern part is where the Slap Juice factory is. So I'm taking the zip line over. There's usually one to three low card guards on the outside of the building. There's one here usually, and there's one in the back. And so I don't mess this up and I don't want to get too close either and blow myself up with a launcher. I'm going to bait or try to encourage this NPC, uh, the low card guard, to come closer to me and start shooting at me. I eliminate them with a quick shot there, but at this point I have no more uh, ammo in my pumpkin launcher. So I go on a mission here looking for the wood stake shotgun. And I'm not going to pull it here, but I do hear the low card guard and somebody starts to shoot at me. So I'm gonna retreat down here and I'm still quickly going on the hunt. I know that there's usually a chest here and I'm gonna get lucky. Within this chest is a wood stake shotgun. I'm gonna pick up the wood stake shotgun and I'm gonna go after that low card guard who is just shooting at me. Now I could take the long way around, but I'm trying to take them by surprise. So I'm gonna build up here. Then I'm again, I'm get, uh, then again, I'm gonna use the high ground to my advantage. And I'm gonna wait for this player or this NPC low card guard to appear. And then two shots, boom, they're dead. That's four or five. Now, at this point, I searched the whole building on the main floor. There were no more low card guards. The boss was eliminated already. But I did remember there's usually a low card guard on the second floor. So I build up, and luckily that low card guard is still here. I'm going to eliminate them, and my challenge will be complete. So I do hope that the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like, leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Good luck with your challenge. Thanks for your support. And until the next video, this is GamerDad out.